Hi everyone, welcome back. We are going to rock and roll to day eight. So let's remind ourselves what we learned so far. Back it up, back it up, back it up. So we learned side, 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 angle, side. And then last day seven, we learned AAS. So think A, A, S, where the side isn't in between. And then you learned ASA. Going a little fast. I apologize. Just trying to rock and roll with this. A, S, A. So is the side in between them or is the side on the outside? So that's what we learned last time. Whew. The last one, close your eyes because I'm going crazy. The last one is called HL. Okay. So that is known as hypotenuse leg. So let's remind ourselves of a review of a right triangle. So let's take you back to the good old days of middle school. I hope you've seen this. If you haven't, well, let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? So right triangles have a really magical thing. They can do a lot of crazy stuff. And one of them is if you have two sides, you can find the third side. It's called Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, so if I have two sides again, I can use this crazy equation to find out what the third side is. So hypotenuse is the side across the way, it's the side across the way from the right triangle. We keep talking about the opposite sides when we talked about isosceles and, and equilaterals. Now we're talking about right triangles. Okay, so what does hypotenuse leg mean? Well, the hypotenuse is, again, this magical creature. So if the hypotenuse leg is the same and we have one side, oh my gosh, uh-oh, we're going to say a bad word. I have ASS, but I was, I'm not allowed to say ass in geometry, Miss Robson. I know we've taught you that um, angle side side doesn't work. Well, here's a new phrase. You cannot be a mm -mm, ASS in geometry unless you are right. I'm not saying a bad word, guys. I'm saying ASS, angle side side. Okay? So you cannot be an ASS in geometry unless you are right okay so hypotenuse hypotenuse and leg and why is that because if i have the hypotenuse in the leg i then can figure out the third side and then i have sss okay so instead of going through all that circus i can say hl as a reason again if i have a hypotenuse and a leg how do I know that it, this is a fancy one? Please look for that corner. Okay, look for that corner piece. All right, so determine if the following triangles are congruent. If and if so, why? If not, why? Write the triangle's congruent statement. Okay, so I see 90 degree angles. I see the sides. Okay. And then, well... This is my hypotenuse, bada bing. So therefore I can prove HL. Why? Because I have one side. So basically what am I looking for? I'm looking for 90 degree angle. I'm looking for one side that's congruent because then therefore I have that hypotenuse also. Again, hypotenuse, cross from the right, right angle, and one leg. I'm looking for one leg. Leg is a fancy word of saying a side, okay? So sometimes we talk about the legs of a triangle. So these are the legs, and the hypotenuse is on the top. If you want to, you guys can write that on your notes also. I apologize I didn't write it sooner. It's just kind of the day it's been going. All right, so leg and leg and leg. So the legs of the triangle, and then I've got my fancy side, which is the hypotenuse. So thanks for heading back with me to write that down. All right, so let's write B, C, D. Triangle B, C, D is congruent to, all right, so let's look at where that B is. 
Okay, so B for the other one would be D. Okay, so if it's B, C, what goes with it? B, C goes with D, A. And then D, A, B. D, A, B, B, C, D. Woo! Mamma mia. If you want to redraw it, feel free to. That kind of helps me out sometimes so then I know what I'm doing. So C, D, B, I have this side. I have 90 degrees. Let's flip this guy around and see what I have. So my 90 degree angle is A. Where are my dashes? It goes with D. Then I have a B. Woo! There we go. So C goes with A, D with B, B with D. So if you notice the B and the D are switched for the two. All right. So if this is 90 degrees, therefore this side has to be 90 degrees. Okay. And then they were so nice of us to identify that this is the hypotenuse for both. So right now I just have the hypotenuse. But wait, what did we remember about reflexive? This is a shared side. Okay. So again, I have ASS. I can't write that. Okay. It can't just be any good old triangle that has that has the two sides. What is so special? It's special because it's a right triangle. Okay. I know I'm going in slow motion, guys. I just really want to make sure that you understand this. So FEG, so triangle FEG is congruent to FEG goes with HEG. So triangle HEG. Okay. So those are my triangles and I proved it by using HL. All right, can I prove this? So these aren't vertical. I have two sides, but I do not have right angles. Cannot prove. Without my 90 degree angle, my right triangles. That's missing. I can't just say, oh, it's there, guys. I pinky promise. Not so much. Sorry about ya. All right. So it says TQ is congruent to SU. So let's draw that. TQ. So TQ. Guys, I need to redraw this. This is a hot mess express, y'all. So I've got TUS. And then I'm going to redraw the other one. I'm going to kind of flip it so I can see it. So I've got U, T and Q. Oh, okay, I've got 90 degrees right here. Now it's way easier to see. Let's cover this guy up so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, thanks for talking with me while I figure this out. So TQ, this one right here, is congruent to SU. Right, that's the hypotenuse. Sounds good. Good talk. I'm glad the hypotenuses are congruent. Now, what can I remember on the last one we just did? UT is the same as saying TU. This is the same side. So I can say that these are the congruent. I can say those are congruent, y'all, because of reflexive. Reflexive just means TU, UT means the same thing. All right? So I can prove it using HL. I have hypotenuses that are congruent. I have a leg that's congruent. That's what hypotenuse leg means. I can use this type because of my 90 degree angle. So now I've got TUS. TUS is congruent to triangle. So what goes with T on the other one? U. U, what goes with U? T. Blech. I just have to switch them. So TU, UT. S goes with Q. We're in business, y'all. All right, we're almost there. So let's expand these ones and let's see what's going on. Okay, so we have some very important info. F is the midpoint of AE. So that kind of matters for this one. So what does that mean? It means that this is congruent to this. Midpoint means it goes halfway in between something. So therefore, those sides are congruent. So that's really important to note. If it says something about midpoint, they're telling you that they took a segment and they cut it perfectly in half. So therefore, they're congruent. What else do I know? Well, I also know that these are vertical. 
if I want to use that, I can angle side angle. So I could use two different things. I could use HL or angle side angle. Okay. So either one you want to slice it, we can do it. So angle side angle or HL based on the info. So they tell you something for a reason. So always, you can always check back to your notes and be like, what on earth are they talking about? So AFB, triangle AFB is congruent to triangle what goes with A? What is the other 90 degrees? Oh, it's E. Okay, what goes with F? So F goes with F. That's magical. AF, EF, and then what's that letter up there? Is D. So B goes with D. So writing ASA or HL or what are what is your what is your statement and then write down those triangle congruent statement. So proof is in the pudding. All right, last one guys. Head on over. I'm going to redraw it and we'll talk it out. Please redraw it. Really helps you out. So W X Z 90 degrees. And then I have X, so W, X goes with Y, Z. All right, so I've got W, Z, X, so that is the top. So what is this up and down one? So I believe the Z is up here because it goes X, Z, Y, and Y is right here. So does Y go with W? That's where the curve is. Okay. Whew. It's trying to figure this out. I always start with my angles and see if they're the same. I'm just knowing that the Z is flipped. Okay, so I have hypotenuses that are the same. And what, let's look at this side. So this side is shared. So X, Z goes with Z, X. X, Z, Z, X. <laughs> X, Z, Z, X. So if you guys notice, it's the same letters, like I've been saying, but they're just switched. Right? So think of like 3 times 2. Doesn't that equal 2 times 3? They both are 6. It's just writing it in a different way. So do I have AS ASS? Oh, I do, but I can... I can be an ASS if I'm right, because I'm a right triangle. You know, do you have friends that like to be right? Me too. So triangle WXZ is congruent to YZX. There we go. All right. So thank you so much for joining me on these videos. So day eight, I hope you guys are doing well. And let me know if you guys have questions or ask your teachers. Thank you. Have a good day.